Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your timeless general love reading. Please keep in mind it is general. Definitely not going to resonate with everyone that's watching. Um, whether it resonates or not, it's always a good idea to watch your moon rising and Venus sign as it'll give you a much bigger overall picture of the time period. Now it is timeless, so whenever you're here guided to watch it is when you're meant to see the messages. I am, however, recording this at the end of May. So if you're watching it at the end of May, then it is a June reading for you, okay? And I did put June on it because I, I didn't want any confusion. I had someone thinking that it was a... <clears throat> excuse me, a surprise uh, mid-month reading, and it's not, okay? Thank you so much for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below so the video can circulate for others. Thank you. As well as I would really like to thank everyone who supports me by purchasing the extended videos or booking private appointments with me and the donators people that give donations to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of it. Okay, there we go. First card out, nice. Ace of Wands, ooh, this is gonna be a good reading. Wow, Knight of Cups, another great card. The Moon. Knight of Swords, a lot of action going on here. Page of Coins or Page of Pentacles. I'm gonna call them Pentacles, guys. I know this deck calls them coins, but I'm a Pentacle person. Uh, this card being here in the center of your spread, that is now part of your overall energy combined with the card on the bottom of the deck. Four of Swords. Ooh, Ten of Swords, but it is a ten, Gemini, so it's over. Whatever this is, it's done. King of Wands. And in the outcome position... Nice. Hermit. Okay, so bottom of the deck. Two of Wands. Now that combines with the Page of Pentacles to be your overall energy for this timeline whenever you're watching this video. Oops. Okay. There we go. I guess I'll put it up here for you so you can see the bottom. So Two of Wands and Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles for me is uh, because Pentacles are, well, they're coins. They're, they can represent finances, but they are all about the tangible. They're all about the practical, the here and now, the you can see it, smell it, touch it, that kind of thing, right? So the pages are messengers, and this is all about you, your desires, you wanting what you desire to be in real in your life. So this is about, um, with the Two of Wands, it's about the planning and the strategizing of how to make those desires a reality for you. Because the Two of Wands, it's all about the strategizing and the planning. The Ace of Wands, that's about planting the seed. The Two is all about the strategizing and the planning. And the Three, when you move into the Three, that will be about you've done all the work and now you just just sit back and wait and see what happens. But right now you need to plan and strategize or that's what you're already doing. 
because whatever it is that you want to manifest or you, that you want to make a reality, you're having to strategize to bring that into your, your here and now. Okay, let me take a look at your cards and get a feel for the energy and any messages coming through. Okay, Gemini. What uh, is coming through for you is, now you do have the Ace of Wands here and you also have the Two. So the Two is part of your overall energy. You have already planted the seed. Okay, this is where you're at-ish because time is fluid. So you are heading this direction. Everything in between is part of the journey to this place. And part of that is the overall energy, okay? So this is all about you wanting to, um, you're planning and strategizing because you want your desires to not be desires anymore. You want them to be in the here and now. You want them to be, excuse me, you want them to be something you can touch. You want them to be real life, not just in your head and thoughts and, and fantasies. The problem is um, you do you do want to make an offer to somebody, to your person, but there's uncertainty as to how it's going to be received. So although you would like it to happen now, and that's kind of what you're planning for, you're still healing or someone is still healing from the last bout of going after what it is that I think it's you I, I feel like you're still healing from from the last bout of going after what it was that you wanted it's the same thing it, it feels to me like you know it's that that back and forth that wanting to move forward and you get pushed back. So you heal from it, you move forward, you get pushed back. Um, the only way for you to figure out um, the best way to handle this, to get what it is that you want, is to go within. You're planning and you're strategizing has to come from your intuition at this point in time. But you do want this. Whatever, whoever this is, I mean, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. So this could be your person, Gemini, that it would be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius male or female, because it is general. But I'm feeling more like this is uh, an energy here. And the energy of the King of Wands is all about knowing exactly what it is that you want and going after it. And I feel like that's what you want to do. But there's healing that needs to complete before you can do that. Um, it feels almost like you are growing spiritually, intuitionally. You're maybe up-leveling, um, becoming more psychic, more spiritual. Um... I keep hearing that all your planning and strategizing needs to come from within. Get the information from your inner guidance system, your spirits, your source, whatever it is you call it. Because if you want this new beginning, this is this is what you desire. This new you know it's going to be a brand new passionate beginning. You have a lot of passion for this person, whoever this is, and you know it's going to be amazing. You also know that when it does start to take place, it's going to happen really fast. And it's what you desire, 
but you have to go within. Your, all your answers to this, to, to bringing this to fruition, are within you. There was a lot of pain, or has been a lot of pain in the past. I feel like some of you are, you know, you're uncertain about moving forward towards your desires because you don't want to be hurt again. Yeah, that's such a common story. There's so, so much pain out there. So many people have been hurt so deeply. It's time. I just feel like, you know, I really want for everyone to have the love, the loving relationship that, that you desire. I really would like for everyone to be able to have that. So many people have gone through all this pain and healing and growth, and I know we have to go through it to grow, but it's time. I just feel like it's time for everybody to have exactly what it is they want. Um, I want to clarify the moon. I want to know what you're uncertain about. What's the uncertainty here, angels? Why is the moon here? Please and thank you. Nice. Okay, so Ten of Cups. This is total, total emotional fulfillment. Why are you uncertain about this? You uncertain if you're ready for that? Can I get another card on the moon, please, angels? Why the Ten of Cups on the moon? I feel like you might be uncertain that you're ready for that because you might feel that you still have healing to do. And you could be right. Another card on the moon, please, and thank you, angels. protective of yourself. I feel like for some of you, this is you being very guarded against um, being hurt again. This feels very, very strongly for me like someone who's creating boundaries. And that's never a bad idea. There should always be boundaries in a relationship. Always, 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 always. But for those of you that you're guarded, you know, creating boundaries, that's a great thing. But if you're feeling protective and guarded because you don't want to be hurt again, that in and of itself will create uncertainty in moving forward. So if that's what you're feeling and that's where you're at, you do still have some healing that you need to go through. Because once you've healed that issue, you won't have the uncertainty anymore. You won't have the fear. You won't feel that you need to be guarded. You'll feel very strong, very self-centered, um, uh, self-confident in moving forward. I wanna know what this 10 of swords is down here, angels. Why is the 10 of swords here, please? Thank you. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I hate it when this happens, but um, Nine of Pentacles. This is independence. You don't want to be alone, but you don't want to be hurt because this is what I hate. 
when <laughs> the clarifying card is the same as the card I'm clarifying. So you have the Ten of Swords twice now in this reading, and it's one on top of the other. This is so pertinent right now for you, one way or another. Either um, for some of you, it's, it's just a fear. It's nothing more than a fear, a very strong fear of being betrayed, deceived, hurt again. This is very intense pain. You, you went through or are going through a very painful time right now. And you didn't see it coming. This is the kind of thing that you were just motoring along your way, thinking everything was great and wonderful, moving at a very good clip, and you thought maybe you were heading for this emotional fulfillment, and boom, you're alone. For some of you, you know, generally my guides will give me um, the story as it moves forward. I feel like this is moving forward, but only because it's a fear. I don't feel like this is actually what's coming your way. I feel like this has already happened and it caused the pain and it's what is causing the uncertainty now. You're, you're uncertain if you're ready to move forward because you don't want to feel that again. This could be your person. You know, maybe they had healing to do. Maybe they had emotional healing that they needed to do, and that's why you got hurt. <clears throat> Flip it around however you need to, Gemini. This is general. So I'm reading the energy here. Somebody is needing to heal or is going through a healing process. And, and the healing needs to take place before whoever it is, before they can have exactly what it is they want in this situation. And like I said before, the only way to really heal this is going within. And once you're healed, that's when the uncertainty disappears. You become, you know, you get that, you gain that inner strength. You step into your own power again. But you do want to move forward and um, offer this person something, something tangible, something practical, something that you know they want. But again, they're bringing me back to the healing and the Ten of Swords. Whoever this is, they need to be alone right now to heal. And that's why you've got the Hermit card here. You need to be on your own. This is, this is all about taking a step back and being by yourself and going within to figure things out, to figure out how to move forward, to heal. I, you know, <laughs> I was taken to the Two of Wands and what I heard was, you've done the planning and the strategizing, some of you, maybe most of you, and now it's a time to go within and do some healing and just let this unfold the way it's meant to. Let the Three of Wands be be what it is, which is all about divine timing and, and just know that you've done all you can and you, all you can do now is, is go within, figure things out for yourself and wait. But you need to get out of this. Um, there, there's a fear here. The swords are all about intellect. It's, it's, Mental conflict because of past hurts. You have to get out of that. 
That is what's causing the uncertainty. And until you can get out of that, you're not going to move forward in this situation. You have done everything you can do. You have planted the seed. You've planned. You've strategized. And now you're uncertain as to how this is going to play out. So take this time to get yourself healed from the pain in the past by going within. If you would like some help, you know, if you've watched my videos before, you know that in the extended version, what I do is get answers from my guides as to what you need to do, be, think, and or feel to turn your energy around and focus it, streamline it, so that you can draw to you what it is that you really want. Bottom of the clarifying deck and now part of your overall energy, the magician. Come on, camera. The magician. So this is very apropos because that's basically what you're doing at this point in time. You've done all you can. Now, allow it to manifest. You've done the manifesting. That's done. You're just waiting for it. You need to be in the receiving mode of it, meaning you need to be at an energetic level that's in proximity to what it is you want. And I can tell you right now that uncertainty and this feeling of not wanting to suffer like you have in the past, that is not um, vibrating at the same level or even close to the same level as love. You're, you're, that, that's negative energy. Love is very positive. So you have to get yourself focused and energetically get to a place of love. So click the link below if you would like to go into the extended and get help in uh, focusing yourself that way. And I'll see you on the other side.